Welcome to Marvelicious Toys. We bring you news and reviews of Marvel toys, statues, and more. Because not all Marvel collections can be bagged and boarded. They're not just toys, they're Marvelicious. Seeing those Walgreens exclusive mini mates and was confused a little bit. I actually, a little too late, went and looked at the press release they sent us to see exactly how many were in the first wave because I thought there were six. It turned out there were four and it turned out I had them all. Twice hmm. even. <laughs> yeah, because Marjorie bought some before her surgery and I couldn't remember what she bought. And I'm like, I don't think she bought Rocket and Groot. I don't think she bought Cap and Hulk. Yeah, she did. She bought them all. <laughs> mm hmm The day I go to return the extras, which, again, on Halloween, I happen to go back to the toy aisle looking for Legends and whatever else they'd have. I kid you not, sitting there was Wave 1.5. I don't know why they call it 1.5 instead of 2, but four completely different packs. Whoa. They only had three of the four. The Hulkbuster one was sold out. I go up to checkout. You know this feeling I'm about to describe, Justin. Give it to the clerk. He's checking me out. He's also checking out paper plates and some other stuff Marjorie wanted. I had a, I had a full order. And he gets to those mini mates and scans it, kind of looks puzzled, scans it again, calls over the manager. It says not on file. Ooh. And I'm like, is there a street date? Because I know that they said these weren't going to be released until I thought December. And so what was this not on file? But they would not sell to me. I was kind of mad. I was even doubly mad because while checking me out, I bought two packages of paper plates and they were nested and the guy scanned one and put both in the back. Ooh. And I actually stopped and went, sir, that's actually two and you only rung up one. So I told him to charge me more and then he wouldn't give me the mini mates. Oh, that's just, <laughs> man, you would think that karma would have rubbed off the other way. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No good deed goes unpunished, folks. <laughs> Poor Arnie. So you couldn't go back, like, and find another pack that maybe would scan? Or did they just have no other mini-mates then? They confiscated them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a bummer. And it turns out Walgreens head toy buyer follows us on Twitter and saw my story <laughs> and said he was going to fix it in the system. Well, Halloween was on Saturday. He fixed it in the system on Monday. And... It's going to take at least 24 hours to propagate to all the stores. Well, Arnie don't play that. <laughs> so on Monday, I hit another store and got uber excited because I found all four, including the Hulkbuster one. Somebody had to have stolen that Hulkbuster one from the first store because it was gone. Right. If they couldn't check out the other ones, how'd that one get out? Someone's pocket. <laughs> or maybe it just hadn't made it to the floor yet. Yeah. I think they come in sets of four, judging by what I'm seeing. Every store for wave one... And the few stores I've seen wave 1.5, they have four and only four. It's hard to tell with Walgreens. They get their toys in, in like those plastic bins rather than actual cases. But with an exclusive set like this, I would think they'd be a little more careful to get everything out to every store. Well, the second store that I hit when I found all four, I'm like, all right, I am not taking any chances. They had one left from wave one, the Spider-Man Electro. And I did that old trick of making sure that was the first one scanned. <laughs> <laughs> and when it was, the clerks scanned the others. This was Monday evening, still not on file. And he's like, are these all the same? Yeah. And he just changed it to five. <laughs> there you go. But there are some pretty cool mini mates here. I mean, you guys both know mini mates are something I collect, but I'm not all in on. It's rare for me to purchase just what I like of something, but there's so many, many, mini mates. <laughs> say that again exactly that i just get the ones i like but this walgreens set so far appears to be like one of the most exciting waves they've done i always get all the movie ones even if they're not exciting but yep. these comic based ones there is a figure in every single pack that is just a must-have and the other one is usually not bad wave one we had a cap and a hulk and the cap has his removable mask. Hulk is not oversized. Cap's got his shield. I was like, that's, you know, two good characters, and I just don't have basic versions of them because I wasn't all in. Yeah. I see I love his little tiny shield on this, too. I love their little, like, weird heads. Now, would you say these are based on comics, or are these based on the animated series? They say Avengers Assemble, and in fact, they specifically said in the press release, yeah, 
all of these are based on the cartoon series. So I think that's why we're getting a slightly different look going on here. Yeah, they do feel kind of cartoony, especially the front artwork has, you know, a little bit more of that cartoony feel. And what's weird with Wave 1 is they did totally different packaging. There was that one Avenger set. And then standing out like a sore thumb, and what really made me think there had to be more than just one, was a purple Guardians of the Galaxy animated set. And it just, it's like one of these things is not like the other, when everything else is a shade of blue, but this is a deep purple. Oh, yeah, that does kind of stand out. Hmm. And there you get kind of three figures. You get Rocket and Groot. And I love the little Rocket in there. He is so adorable. He's so tiny. He's like something you get out of a vending machine, like those little gumball things. What I really love about him is they sculpted him to look articulated, like he's got the mm-hmm. mini-mate joints and everything. <laughs> and I read on Marvel Toy News, this is only the second Groot mini-mate in the history of mini-mates. Oh, hmm. wow. The first, obviously, being the movie series, because... Then the other two sets are for this Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors. I gotta give Ultimate Spider-Man some credit. It lasted much longer than I ever thought it would, and it... It's going deep in the toy line. I mean, Ultimate Spider-Man is the Spider-Man they're marketing right now. Well, it's got a lot of different versions of Spider-Man that they can put on the shelves for for little kids and guys like you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> to me, they're all from the comics anyway. Right. And in Wave 1, there was Spider-Man and Dr. Manhattan, otherwise known as Ultimate <laughs> Electro. <laughs> or Iceman, whichever you want. <laughs> and the... Electro was translucent and this blue. I'm like, that is the must have figure in that set. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. I dig his little lightning bolt eyebrows he's got going on on his forehead. (laughs) That's really funny. That's funny you zeroed in on that, Justin. (laughs) I was trying to see what makes him Electro above, you know, Iceman or like Arnie said, Dr. Manhattan. But there you go. It's little shockers on his forehead. And the last in wave one, Ultimate Spider-Man again. Ultimate Spider-Man 2099, which looks a lot like any other Spider-Man 2099 in his classic outfit. And then Ultimate Agent Venom. And, you know, it's a cool mini-mate. I don't have an Agent Venom mini-mate. I kind of wish people would remember when Venom was evil and tonguey and eat brainy, but... (laughs) Oh, he's coming. We've seen him in the Marvel Legends that are coming out soon, so this isn't the replacement of Venom as far as collectibles are concerned he just we got the the exclusive figure earlier and now this one it kind of feels a little heavy but yeah two different forms i think yeah i just i always like venom better when he's you know i think they forget that he was like the baddest ass badass in the spider-man villain category in the early 90s and now it's like oh he's off in space fighting with the guardians of the galaxy why (laughs) (laughs) because he looks cool So wave two, I got really, really excited that we get a much more classic Venom in a pack with Spider-Man Miles Morales. Oh, yeah. And I believe I read this was J. Jonah Jameson Venom, according to the Diamond press release. So it's not Eddie Brock still, but it looks like a nice classic toothy Venom. And two heads for some reason. That aren't that dissimilar from each other. The eyes are totally different, Justin. I don't know what you're talking about. And you can see gums or tongue in the one that's on the body. Right, but stylistically, it's the same type of thing. It's not like he's got one eye closed and his mouth shut on Uh, one. Or his tongue hanging out. It's just one has less detail, I guess. I noticed that they have a bigger body for the Venoms, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. They put that slip sleeve over. Then the last Ultimate Spider-Man pack. We're getting a little varianty with a half-masked Spider-Man, but for some reason, I really wanted Agent Coulson in the shield armor. I just thought that was hysterical. It looks, as much as a mini-mate ever looks like a person, this looks like Clark Gregg. Uh, That's really weird because it kind of (laughs) does. It's creepy looking. The only thing that's wrong is the hair. And his Judge Dredd mask. Now, Wave 2 didn't have any Guardians. The next two sets are Avengers Assemble, and I'm pretty sure that one of them's going to get you out to Walgreens, Justin, because there's a set with Hawkeye. Ooh. And he comes with crossbones, by the way. Ah, cool. Wait, <laughs> is Justin now character focused on Hawkeye? No, no. I, was, I was teasing him because he's character focused on crossbones. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I, I kind of like crossbones. He's pretty... Badass. 
Crossbones is cool, but then you have to, if you buy that pack, you end up with Stoner Hawkeye. I don't know what he's doing with those glasses. <laughs> he's very John Lennon. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I know they had to make a decision there where it's like, do we either make the sunglasses non see through and show his eyes or the other way around? But yeah, this way it just looks like stoner glasses. I saved my favorite for last, the one I expect to be hardest to find. It proved the case on my first day Avengers Assemble, Hulkbuster Iron Man, and Ultron. And no, Hulkbuster Iron Man isn't twice the size of any other mini mate, but he is beefy. And Ultron, he looks kind of cool with his orange mouth. It feels very movie-inspired versus cartoon-inspired. Oh, no, that's a whole different chest than the others. That's, like, this is really cool that Minimate's doing that. Yeah, the Hulkbuster, yeah. Yeah, yeah he looks wholly unique, except for maybe the, the base body underneath all of that. It's almost like he got stung by a bee on his face and he's allergic to bee stings because the face just <laughs> looks like a swollen mess, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like the mini mate was allergic to something. <laughs> maybe he can't have peanuts and somebody had a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> it's just a little... boom. <laughs> I'm not wrong, and you guys know it. <laughs> no, you, you're you very much correct. What's bothering me is the false advertising going on in the back of this package, where it does show Hulkbuster to look as if he's much bigger than a mini-mate. Yeah, photographic trickery. Mm-hmm. But it's a cool set, and just last week, I got an email from Zach at Diamond. This success continues into next year. They have announced four new packs for early 2016, which means I'll be trying to scam them from an employee to sell them to me. Not steal, but sell to me probably around Christmas. Maybe Thanksgiving if it's as early as this. The next four sets we're going to be getting from Avengers Assemble, Dark Avenger Thor, and Thanos. All right. Also from Avengers Assemble, Dark Avengers Iron Man with a removable helmet and Black Widow with shock batons. All right. Ultimate Spider-Man's representing again with Iron Spider-Man with an interchangeable unmasked head. And, Justin, you're going to be looking for this pack too, Taskmaster. Ooh. Do we know if he comes with a Udon head? We don't know about that. It says he comes with a sword and shield. Oh, that's cool. And then they're doing another Guardians of the Galaxy set, Gamora, Drax, and, oh, they say it here, Baby Groot. Really? <laughs> nice. I don't know if the packaging will say it, but Zach O's email, Baby Groot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you said up at the top of this, that you're obviously not all in on Mini Mates because, you know, that's just the way we are. And I'm not all in. But I'd like to hear from our listeners that do collect Mini Mates. I want to know if this is going to be daunting now, having yet another avenue for exclusives to be coming out like this because i mean just casually i see them coming out at toys r us all the time and so now here's yet another chain with their own exclusives is this getting to be too much or is this awesome is it raining and making you happy or what yeah and come to our forums i want to know this too because as i was photographing these i really got to thinking you know mini mates are not going to be the most realistic style you're always going to see the joints they're kind of a hybrid between articulated action figure and lego person the joints are what make you think it's not realistic style is not like their weird little pill heads <laughs> touche <laughs> but yet there's so many i mean i was looking at i think waves either 56 or 65 at new york comic-con not counting the movie waves not counting the toys r us exclusive waves they have through that partnership not counting <laughs> the walgreens ones there's hundreds and hundreds of mini mates and i'm like on the one hand that's really cool because you can get so many characters and it fit them on like one shelf <laughs> you couldn't do that with marvel legends <laughs> so i'm wondering is it specifically the style of mini mates or is it an attraction to being able to have so many characters at an attractive price point and in a very limited space when you open them up the footprint's very tiny well, also, I'd like to point out the ease of getting these versus trying to get a Lego minifigure. Because I think that the motto with Lego minifigures at Comic-Con is whatever it takes. And people are vicious about it. They're hard to get in the store. These, usually we can walk in and get them. They're kind of like a, a private secret. So you guys didn't hear any of this. Yeah, the <laughs> Comic-Con exclusive Minimates, I can usually pick up for at least... 25% off from 
AFX after the con. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, come to our forums. Let us know what you guys are thinking about these mini mates because I think these are some pretty cool waves, though. I'll continue to get the ones I like. I'm really coming around to these. You know, I love my Kubricks. They don't really make that many anymore. The Lego minifigures I love, but again, I really don't feel like getting cut and punched to get them at conventions. Yeah, they're as bad as Funko or worse. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, I dig them and I'll pick up some here and there. I just, I personally, I am just glad that I'm not all in on this line. It seems daunting to say the least to try to keep up with this line. I kind of like them. They're cute. They're fun. They have a huge range of licenses in addition to like the Marvel ones and things like that. I, I like them. I, I'm starting to become a big Mini Mates fan. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Marvelicious Toys with more collecting news and reviews at MarveliciousToys.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, make mine Marvelicious.